Oh, in a minute. Oh, yeah. All right, there it is. All righty, okay. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Facebook family? We'll see him popping in a minute. Hi. I'm Amber Marie. And I'm Roderick. With an A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's our main guy, Phil. It's Phil. It's Phil. It's Phil. It's Phil. Are you using that mic or am I? Are you? We do need somebody to record. Oh, okay. So you're 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 helping with the record. Hey, we got our first person. I'm doing this. I'm talking on this one. So. All right. Philip Bradley. Thanks for joining us here. What up, Phil? Shout out to Philip. All right, Phil. Shout out to Philip. Hi. All right, good people. Thank you for joining us. On this wonderful cold day. Man. And we got our good friend, DJ Scent, is in the building what? here at Cool right Nerds Unite. So We're just doing I'm Roderick. <laughs> this is Roderick. That is Roderick. I'm Roderick. That is Roderick. This is and this is DJ Scent. That is DJ Scent. And I'm Amber Marie, but that's also DJ Scent and Roderick. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, thank you for once again joining us. Cynthia. Hey, are we ready? Oh, yeah. Everybody's good to go? We're Thumbs recording. up. We're doing right. okay, guys. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank you so much all for tuning right. in with us. Today's episode of Cool Nerds Unite. We have a special guest in the building for all of you fans of music and techno out there. <laughs> <laughs> we got Dave with the background beats, bass beat going. Through. We have a house music legend in the building. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is DJ Set. I am representing Detroit. Coming out of Atlanta, the ATL is my hometown. All right. So we do our thing here in Michigan and Detroit. Guys, So thank you so much for tuning in with us today. These are my new friends from Cool Nerds. You guys, make sure you watch out for the podcast. It's going to be coming up soon. All They're right. going to be re-airing this, so you guys are catching it live. I'm not going to stay on very long, because I want you guys to have a, a reason to want to listen to the podcast. And we talk all day. What a bit of reason that you need to go and listen to the show. What's but right? we appreciate you guys so much for tuning in with us. Hi, everybody. You know how you guys, I love you guys. Love, love, love. We What's love you going too. on? Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are rolling. They are rolling. Hi. All right. You guys are giving us all kind of hearts and stuff. Appreciate you. Shout out to Kawan Hill. I'm the Kawans. Did I say oh. that right? I don't know. Yeah, I think Kawan I hope I said your name Hill. right. Kawan. Don't take it personal. We don't know how to. You know, it's like a guessing game. We're Jim doing it. Brown. Either way, we're going to give love to all of you guys, so thank you. Thank so you. we're going to get this thing started. I'm going to do a little talk about who I am. Who am I? Really? No. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> so look, yeah. who are I started you? getting my first set of turntables in 1991. They were a pair of linear techs. And people were like, what is linear tech? Yeah, they were old school. Pitch control was the total opposite of a 1200. So the struggle was real, people. But the cool <laughs> thing is it really taught me. I'm going to get this together real quick. Okay. It taught me really how to beat match. So I got my next set of turntables around, say, 94-ish, which were actually Technic 1200s, what everybody's using. But I started doing my house parties. Everybody's probably familiar with the Philadelphia street parties. They went on during the winter. Man, that thing cranked up. Got so crazy. We had to take that to... The town full of Post Hall that started in 1995. We stayed there, me and my partner at the time, Tiffany. Big shouts out to my girl Tiffany and all my crew that worked with me there at the Post. Time full of Post, I 94 off of Gratiot. Late night was not the same for 10 years in the city of Detroit. When I say we rocked, y'all know. If you were there, send me some love. If you weren't, you'll hear about it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> or up somebody say, uh huh, y'all know. So the post was really my introduction to the world. I had been doing little things here and there. A little bit prior to that, in 97, really cool, one of the guys who I really loved was a gentleman named Ken Collier. Ken Collier, for those that don't know, was just legendary. The way he played his music around the city just was amazing. I got wind of Ken Collier when he went to Club Heavens, Seven Mile in Woodward, where the old McDonald's is right now. Travesty, right. travesty. But <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see a legendary space get turned into a parking lot. But yeah. well, it no. became a McDonald's. Wow. Seven oh, miles in the corner of Woodward. The McDonald's. The man. McDonald's, yeah. Hey, paradise. So, Put up a man, lot. when wow. I say we used to get it in up in heavens, for those that hung there, mm -hmm. it was really kind of popping from like 11 to like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. huh, some of the best music I've ever heard wow. came out of heavens. 
it inspired me as a record collector at the time to really buy everything Ken Collier played. I, I took his, get his cassette tapes. I've got about 26 of Ken Collier's cassette tapes. I would take them up to record time. Big shout out to my man, Mike Huckleby. My man, rest in peace, Lavelle Williams from record time. Mike was my guy. I would take my cassettes, go home, chop them up. The songs I wanted, I'd give the cassette to Mike and say, Mike, hey, pull this stuff. Mike was my guy. He'd pull everything. That was really my musical journey to where I got out here in the world. The biggest thing I think that happened at that point was I was allowed to actually be a contestant in the Ken Carter Memorial Foundation's DJ contest. Crazy thing, I won it. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Did I give somebody some drinks or something? I don't know. Anyway, so, <laughs> so anyway, in the winning this contest, you're talking, yeah, more drinks. More. That, that's what I said. So I was like, oh my god, I won this contest. I honor this trophy. I wish I had a picture of it. It's probably the only thing I tell my dog besides my 12 inches in the basement. <laughs> grab this trophy because everything else in the house is replaceable. Okay. Right. But was able to win that. That was in 1997. And ever since then, I have just been trying to rock the world. Mm. Rock the world with some house. Right. You know, techno. I was the founder of bringing Baltimore club music here to Detroit. That started in 2000. Mm. So if you hear anybody talk about Baltimore <laughs> club music <laughs> and that they thought they started it, that yeah, I better you. let them know. <laughs> <laughs> that was DJ you. Scent came in and had to bring... And the reason... Well, let me just give you a quick history of that. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop came into the club scene so heavy. Mm -hmm. And it, as a DJ, you had a... Really, you had to automate them. You're either going to play hip-hop or you're going to be unemployed. Mm -hmm. wow. And so, for me, I have nothing against hip-hop. Love it. Not something I think should be in a club. Because clubbing is meant to be happy. Right. Fun. Dancing. Happy. Upbeat, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And when you bring hip hop, it kind of brings that whole thing down to a whole nother grounds level. That's why you see guys in the club doing this. <laughs> <laughs> got that slow rock. What is that? <laughs> little two step. I got that same beer. <laughs> the ballroom Because I can't drink the hot beer because I ain't moving. <laughs> you know? So I was not a big fan of the hip hop transition mm -hmm. that happened. And I said, you know what? We got to do something different. So I flew to Baltimore. Having to, my guy, big shout out mm -hmm. to my man, DJ Cedric. Played Atlanta yesterday, oh, over the weekend. Whew, rock that party. But DJ Cedric <laughs> came, brought him in. He was here to do another party. I said, Sad, come to my after hours, dude. Come play with me. If you were there that night, you knew how legendary that was. Hmm. Me and Cedric battling. It's a silent battle because we love each other. He dropping heat. I'm dropping heat on top of his heat. We're neck and neck. Neck and neck. Okay, okay. Cedric said, oh, I see Sid trying to give me the business. <laughs> he drops a Baltimore track on vinyl. My me and the crowd stops and goes, Oh snap. Er, <laughs> what you trying to do, Sam? You trying to take Sid out? <laughs> Which he did. He knocked me right on off the table. I said, Let me move out the way, Sid. You just drop something I can't do nothing with, sir. <laughs> he played about a half an hour of that and my crowd was like, Okay. I say, So Sid, where you get this swagger from? Oh no. <laughs> you know how we are. Back in the day we hiding everything. They got the, he got the, the label on top of the records. You go, my mm -hmm. DJs know what we talk about. Mm -hmm. The little label we throw on top of that record, so everybody be like, oh, oh, you got a cover. Yeah, you know yeah, how we did. Course. You know how we did. That's how he did me. <laughs> but I said, Cedric is from the D.C., Maryland area. I'm going to have to go take a quick visit. Mm -hmm. So I took, got me a plane. Me and my girl, Pat. Pat, what's up, Pat Little? <laughs> Officer Little for most. Flew down to D.C., drove around, <laughs> found a little record store. And man, has changed my life. So I brought a stack. I'm talking about a stack of Baltimore back <laughs> and introduced that Friday to my cl my clientele. They was looking at me like, Seth, what you done went and smoked on, girl? That ain't you. <laughs> but you got to compete with hip-hop. So I had to bring something different to the scene. 2000, from that point on, we've been doing a little bit of Baltimore, a little bit of house. Hi! <laughs> my guy, this is fire. My guy, Reggie. This is another <laughs> famous DJ, been around since 1979, Mr. Swinton. DJ Swin. I don't know what your new name going to be. I like your logo. Want to give you some love. Shouts out. Big ups to my girl, Teresa Hill. I'm, I think I saw you popping in over here. <laughs> Everybody, Lisa, you know, my family. You guys are tuning in. Appreciate you. So, uh, Cynthia, let me ask you something. Sure. Um, because of the hip-hop scene, mm. do you find that it's a big competition to you that you have to work a little bit harder? I know you're a professional at what you do, and you do it extremely well. Thank you very I much. I might add. I know everybody in the 
uh, the audience have to agree with yeah, what I just said. Yeah, she's a bad said. mofo. Woo! Mm-hmm. Them tables. So, she's a bad mofo. So do you right. find that you mm-hmm. have to work a little bit harder because of hip-hop, because of the rap scene? You know what? The blessful thing for me, mm-hmm. I stay true to, to DJ Sense. Okay. DJ Sense's number one love is yeah. house music. Mm-hmm. So I didn't really care that people were coming in saying you got to do this, you got to do that. I said hire somebody who does what you need them to do. Right. I am a house music specialist. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that till I die. Right. If you need me to do anything else, them zeros gonna be real big behind that first number. <laughs> if since go, if you ever hear Sip play some hip hop, mm-hmm. you know that check was. Ugly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. It had a few car notes. <laughs> but I feel like it's best to stay with what you love. And my yeah. love is to push dance music first. Okay. Everything else really doesn't matter. Right, Everything else right. doesn't matter. So I see the competition as a lot of guys yeah. had no other choice but to leave what they really love to do mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. had to go into hip hop. One of the guys who, who I talked to a lot, love, Mr. Charles Hicks. Mm-hmm. Whoo, the maestro. What listen to Mr. Charles Hicks. On JLB's Friday night, Saturday night house party along with Mr. Kim James. Yeah, I remember. Charles Hicks was <laughs> huge in the house community. He is mm-hmm. now back into the house scene yeah, okay. due to a party I'm going to be playing in a couple of weeks from now mm-hmm. because that's his love. Yeah. When you love something, you got to find your way to fishtail back to what you want to do. Yeah. But sometimes you got to chase them dollars. And so I understand for those that went for the money, hey, make it, mm. do what you do. But remember, always stay true to your passion. Amen. Do what you love. Mm-hmm. Don't don't let anybody right. dictate to you what you should be doing. Wow, what? Do what you, you know got to do. But yeah. you know what, Sin? That is the thing I love most about you is because you can feel the energy. You have some great energy. I can feel the energy right now. Man, it's bubbling. Uh, <laughs> and you know what? The thing of it is, when you told me about what you do, mm-hmm. I, I must say I was a little like apprehensive. I said, okay. And then until I saw a video okay. of you performing, she I bad. said, oh, mm-hmm. my God. I remember telling you about it, Amber. <laughs> and she I bad. said, oh, my God. The energy yeah. was so immense. You can feel that she she loves what she's doing. Oh, yeah. She's into what she's yeah. doing. And, it, and it resonates. You can tell when someone has a passion for something. Yeah, and, and I can, it resonates. With these guys I'm sitting next to, when I say phenomenal talent, this whole room. In fact, I'm going to do a quick span. Yeah, this my is friend my guy. is here. Oh, yeah. Justin, That's Justin. Bill, Gavin, Gavin, oh, Sound Lord. These two guys, this oh, whole yeah. group right here, guys. Yeah. When I say talented, not only in what we're doing right now with the podcast, and Ross and I bad looking, but well, <laughs> that helps. That, that helps. helps. <laughs> but when I say nice multi talented, multi talented, okay. <laughs> drawers, mm-hmm. musicians, artists. Mm-hmm. This is one thing I. This is one of the reasons why I want to come and sit with these guys because of the talent that's in this room. They're educating me. Plus, I kept bugging her. Too. Well, <laughs> yeah, that, that played a factor, you know. Right, we didn't right. we didn't grab her by a rope and tie her up and bring her. It took forever for Almost. us to get her here. They were singing the finally song by CC Peniston. Finally, it was Rodney's right. idea. <laughs> we're gonna it, make it happen. We finally made it happen. It's still in my is, head too. Oh my god! <laughs> Talk about CC Peniston and all the great music Indeed. that's out here. Uh-huh. <laughs> but the thing is, it all happens in due time. Mm-hmm. We're sitting here today mm-hmm. having a great conversation. I decided let's go mm-hmm. Facebook Live. Let people see you guys, talk to you guys. Me, I'm getting the privilege to be here to be interviewed. Who am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike Most Jones. Of, okay, no. Right there. Yeah. Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. I, 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 I can definitely, get down. Oh, I definitely get down. I definitely get down with the energy. Sorry. I definitely get down with the vibe. Um, like, could you kind of tell us more about, like, the community of art? Because, you know... Here in Detroit, we have a huge hip hop community, huge R and B community, we have a huge church community. Huge and not and, yeah. and but we have yeah. a huge underground house music community. Mm-hmm. Tell us yeah. more about that community. Not we many really folks do. know about it. Sadly, this. Yeah. it's it's not as much underground as you think. It's actually mm-hmm. bubbling all over the city. Yeah, because we have the it, festivals. Sure, yeah. mm-hmm. the f- music festivals. Big up to my people. Represent my Sharivari festival coming up in August. Oh yeah. There's so many great festivals. So many great bars and clubs that are doing house all over again. It's kind of had a rejuvenation. No disrespect to hip hop. Love you guys. But like I said, with all the things that was going on with hip hop, the violence, the clubs, mm-hmm. the baller dancer era, all that mm-hmm. stuff is over. We're back to the normal people working the nine to fives, want to come out and have a good time. Yeah. And so this is going to kind of emulate house and dance to be back into the forefront. This is the reason why I stayed true to what I love. If all of us had went to hip hop, 
who will be pushing house? Somebody had to stay true to their roots, which was me and a few others. Don't get it twisted. Big shouts out to Bruce Bailey. He's doing so many things. My girl, Teresa Hill, a.k.a. Lady T from 92.3. She's doing radio internet shows. Big shouts to my girl, Tina Nelson. She's out pushing things. I'm sure I'm missing a ton of you guys. I could go and list. But I do want to give mad shouts out to Stacey Hotwex Hale. She's considered the godmother of house. One of the first female DJs to really push this thing. Right. She, her and my girl Serena Tyler, always got to give mad love to her. Mm -hmm. Those two were really the innovators of really house music as far as female con conception. Okay, female. Radio female. at that time was huge. You mm -hmm. had the Club Insomnia show. You had your Friday night, Saturday night house parties going on. Mm -hmm. When hip hop, iHeart, Clear Channel all decided to merge, that's what everybody thought was going to be the money bread winner was mm -hmm. hip hop. And don't, don't, don't get it wrong. During the era of hip-hop, they made millions. Mm. Problem was, it took so many things away from the mom and pop stores. Right, right. It took so wow. many things away from the clubs. Mm -hmm. And it actually made people mm -hmm. not want to come out because of how it was. Right. So I'm, I'm advocating, get out, support your <clears throat> clubs, get out and support your parties. If you want things to be happening in your area, you got to come out and support it. Right. Spend those 5 $10 to come to the club and drink right. and have fun. And go home. Five ten dollars. <laughs> that's how you know. That's how you know this was in the golden time. Five ten dollars oh for the God. club, man. I had Five to pay $10. fifteen twenty. Don't well, Mark, right? let, me, let me just let right? me be clear. The house music community parties are still the same. Mm. Some of them don't even charge to come in. Okay. What you're speaking upon is the hip hop organization, that's what I'm saying. which will rape you from the time you park. That's usually you ten dollars. Oh, yeah. Now you got to come in with ten, fifteen dollars. Don't let the club be bumping. That's a twenty-five spot. Oh yeah, back. Uh, mandatory. Yeah. With a two-minute, yeah. with a two-minimum drink special. Oh yeah. Hip hop understands the commercialization of what they're doing. Love music. House was really done for love. Mm -hmm. You come in, you eat some chicken wings. Big ups to friends. I'm coming to third to get some chicken wings. Mm -hmm. You know, and to have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to make money because the DJs have to get paid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody's got to do something. But we weren't yeah. the the robbers. Mm -hmm. Hip hop knew that that might not last long, mm -hmm. so we're gonna get all the money we can so this club gets shut down. Mm -hmm. wow. Usually within a few months, but just in case they last a few six months, mm -hmm. most don't. They gotta make all the money they can. Problem is, mm -hmm. you make people not want to be supportive to other things. Right, right. I say it to all my people, you guys are young. Mm -hmm. Love my young crowd. Oh, be thank diverse. You for the compliment. Well, <laughs> besides this one, but still, we ain't gonna talk about him. <laughs> we, ain't about, we ain't about to get into that. <laughs> but the thing oh, yeah. is, <laughs> I try to tell all my young people who are supporting <laughs> these parties, go out to everything. Yeah, okay. Don't just bother yourself yeah. up and say, I guess I gotta go to the hip-hop club. No, come mm. out to some nice. of these house oh, parties. Right. Yeah. 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 Come the out to the festivals. So. Come out to yeah. some of the other things that's happening. Underground scenes. Oh, yeah. Trade in your things. black car for about five seconds and introduce yourself to people. <laughs> <laughs> just, just trade it yeah, in. Trade it on trade in. in. Mm -hmm. Get rid of it. Don't, some Backstreet do Boys mixtapes. Just yeah. trade all that in. Right. Wow. Backstreet wow. Street Boys mixtapes. I got some Backstreet Boys. Amber might have some mixtapes. Ain't no shame in my game. I like Backstreet Boys too, man. They be doing that. know they have some mixtapes. They might. I don't know. They do, maybe. Somebody made a Backstreet Boys mixtape. I don't know about the mixtapes, but I know they had a couple fire songs, man, back in the 90s. They did. Right. I wanted that uh, way. Leave me alone. New Kids on the Block. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, look, just like yeah. what you were saying, though. It's all like, about it's, them new kids on the block. Just right. remember, though, those are not the traditional house groups. Right. They're not. They're not. Yeah. They're not. Right. We're yeah. saying, for example, yeah. Yeah. Right. step yeah. outside your box. Right. I still listen to them, though. You know what I'm saying? I do, too. It's on my iPod. You know, we had a, you know what I'm saying, just like you said, that was a wonderful community. You said always good parties. I've been to a couple of house parties before they lit they actually oh very my lit. God. people don't you, know, you ain't never turned parties. up until you served up at a house party man. we don't really have a lot going on we come in we dance we have drink fun. we have fun we yeah. camaraderie and then we leave mm -hmm. and that's usually what you get with house parties Sometimes so in that order and, and uh -huh. just in that order mm -hmm. good food good drinks good people and good music mm -hmm. shout out to my detroit house music djs what's going on family you guys right. are in here today hi mm -hmm. all right y'all are part we got a. Uh, we're up to about, what, is that 15? We'll do a few shout-outs, a few shout-outs. Yeah, shout yeah. Please, Robin, who you got some shout-outs out to to people? Uh, the I see, uh, podcast? Where do we get them at? I, I want to give a shout-out. Robin shout Brown. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi, guys. Keith, Robin Brown. Keith Hughes, thank you. You guys Thanks are for joining in. Us. I want to give a yeah. shout-out to Jason Momoa. Jason uh, Momoa. Yes. All right. He said one day he will watch this. All right. I want him to know that he is loved. Light you in Aquaman. Aquaman. Come oh. Get wet. Yes. <laughs> now, who knew that that was? Uh, who knew that that was um, Lisa Bonet's husband? I am so or, jealous or of her. 
I like when her. When I saw her come on the red carpet with him, I like her. I was like, oh yeah. So excuse me, I'm sorry you had to talk about why you with him. I want to know what did she do to get him? Like what fish net did she throw in? Okay. What fish net did she catch Aquaman in? Well, you know what? Her golden lasso. I want to know. Cynthia, it's a question I've been wanting to ask you. Sure. Um, you are a very beautiful, energetic woman. Thank you. Uh, Thank you you're very talented mm-hmm. at what you do. You're an expert mm-hmm. at what you do. Try to be. Um, a little bit. I would like to know what was the opposition that you came up against because you are <laughs> Yeah, the struggles oh. in the herd. The struggles uh, in the herd. Break there, it down. I yeah. think Break a lot of people out there need to know. Well, you know what? I think... Knowing that I was coming into a very male dominated business, yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't ask for permission. I just kicked the door in. Amen. By the go. time I got out to the public, because trust right. me, there was some very big opposition that didn't want me to shine. And not big shots to my haters. Love you guys because you made me who I am. <laughs> it's the haters. But the, they got oh, the haters to get you going. The thing mm-hmm. that you have to remember is what are you doing what you do for? When I discovered I had this blessing of a gift, I wanted the world to hear it. Not just my basement, not just my neighbors, because I drove them crazy. Mm, I wanted to get on a stage and let the public people hear, and hopefully you'll love what I do. I had no, no one comes with a premonition of what you're going to be successful in. All you do is if you do it from the heart, and that's the love and the energy people feel, Mm -hmm. they gravitate to you. you So you just got to jump out there and do it. You have to. You have to. If you start. Nike route. Yeah, you really do. do You just have to do it because. When you start trying to get permission, you don't even know if you're getting permission from the person who's going to support you. You're waiting nah. forever. You could actually be talking to a hater that don't want you to go anywhere. Right. So if you wow. waiting on somebody to say, oh, yeah, go ahead and do that, you'll never do it. Right, mm. because it's, it, there's like a fine line between people pleasing and staying true to what, what you want to Correct. do and what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? Because well well that's when things go into commercialism and, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, like hip-hop is yeah. done in very many, mm-hmm. in many ways. Mm-hmm. It's like you got a lot of guys kind of piggybacking off each other. You got a mm-hmm. lot of guys who just kind of take in too much of what the environment wants sure. them to do and it stops innovation and it if does. like you were an innovator like you went off you went to another city another state found something that people weren't doing here mm-hmm. found a way to bring it back here and matter of fact you made it so big that other people would even try to t- steal from you and do it mm-hmm. sure yes, honestly it there is sort of a benefit to having haters haters let you know you're doing your job right yes it do yeah. All right. that's yeah. how you know if you got haters yeah. you're doing something right oh, yeah. you have to have a balance of both you're not going to always have people who just love what you do Right, You're going right. to have that opposition, and those oppositions, they're not the ones that's pushing you. The people who love you push you. The haters yeah. is what you don't even look at. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. smile and say, <laughs> keep up, because <laughs> you're back here. To me, you're still chasing me. And so mm-hmm. as long as I look at people, and that's the way I view things, mm-hmm. I'm not chasing nothing in the city of Detroit, because I feel like I'm one of the baddest bitches. Hey. Oh. And I'm going to say that one more time. Woo. Like, right. I'm one of the baddest bitches on some ones and twos. And I'm not saying wow. that as if I think my head is big or that I've earned mm-hmm. all these accolades. No, you good at your you stuff. have to be confident in what you bring to the table. And that's all I'm speaking. When I get some tables in front of me, it's love first. Second thing is whoop some ass on them. So when the next right. person comes... Do we have some here? Do we get some So my theory table. was, because when I came up in a very hostile environment of DJs, they left you no room for error. When that person got off those tables, they didn't leave you nothing. So if you didn't come with anything, mm. you kind of didn't get noticed. And so right. I was always taught by one of the greats, Mr. Charles Hicks. He always told me, who are they going to remember when you walk off that stage? Mm-hmm. And you only get the one time. Mm, right. First so make it memorable. First impressions. You know, and I don't want you to remember yeah. me because I'm cute. It look good hurt. behind the table. Right. None of those things. I know, Jeff. Because you got a luxurious you know. bouncing hair. You know? <laughs> yeah. Her fair oh. faucet thing. Right. Yeah. She got the beat, Justin. She got the beat, Justin. You know, right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The girls are sitting heavily one day. And you're like, mm. no, no. I want you to remember that DJ said. Because the great thing I loved about when I first came out, I think because my tapes mm-hmm. were hitting yeah. so hard in the city, a lot of people thought I was a guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Over time, they recognized it's a girl. Yeah, Wait honestly, a I've noticed that I, a lot. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We've been. Li- I was saying I, I went to her YouTube page and I found out. I was like, wow, man, we've been kind of like listening to DJ Scent for a long time. And then you realize you I'm talking about all those times. Didn't you work with De- WJLB? I'm still with JLB. Yeah, yeah. De- yeah. WJLC. I've been mean, yeah. like all those times, all those mixes and everything you've been listening it was to. DJ Scent. That was. Let me, let me be fair. Yeah. I jumped on JLB around 2009. 
I got an opportunity. I called my girl, my angel, Teresa Hill. Mm -hmm. She was doing 90.9 FM, the WDTR high school station. It was a public school station. Okay. That was really my mm -hmm. first introduction to actual radio, okay. doing mm -hmm. her guest shows. Okay. JLB, once again, big shout out to my man, Mike Huckabee, gave me a call. Says, hey, you want to come to JLB and do a guest spot? Big up mm -hmm. to my man, Reggie Harrell. He was the resident DJ there at the time. Okay. He welcomed me in. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> right. and uh, it was love ever since then. So from 2000, about 2007, that was my mm -hmm. first guest spot into GLB. I got officially as a, a resident DJ at GLB in 2009. Mm -hmm. And I'm still a club assignment DJ. We do Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. I'll be back on air working on some things. So keep your ears buzzing, club assignment. Oh, yeah. So put that hey. in your Rolodex, guys. Mark your calendar. Yes, yes. Yes, most yeah. definitely. If we still use those. So radio <laughs> was totally different in the club. I had to make some different adjustments because you can play what you want to play, in the, of course, in the club. Mm -hmm. Radio, a okay. little clean, a little more pure. Right. You gotta Must be it. flawless in those mixes. So it's got to be kind of tame. Little restrictions. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I also felt like it was a great platform to really highlight the talent here in Detroit. Absolutely. So what I decided to do with my hour... I would bring in other guest DJs. Okay. Come in, play here. Father Jack Master Funk came right. down to play. We've had some great guys oh, wow. that, sh that really? showed up. At, yes, mm -hmm. that played. And so right. I have always wanted to use whatever platform to give other people opportunities. Because mm -hmm. somebody had to do the same thing for me. Big right. ups to my man, rest in peace, DJ Blackjack. Mm -hmm. That's a name that probably people don't really hear too often. He was a guy that says, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you come to my set and play 30 minutes? Hey, right. why don't you come and play for 45 minutes? Oh, we're going to do this Thursday night together. He opened up some doors. Unfortunately, he bought into some of the hateration. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get a little bit wow. better than some, they don't really want to love you much. But big ups to all the guys that were there in the beginning. <laughs> Where you at now? Mm -hmm. Where you at now? No, <laughs> <laughs> right. You get that smug, warm feeling now. There we are. Oh, wow. Right. right. And, and, I don't, and out of all these great things that have been happening, right, that you know, been happening in the business, I know everything hasn't been all hunky-dory for of you. Of course. I know that you had a loss in your family. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I know, how, how did that affect you in the music? Like, was it hard uh, to produce? Was it hard to, you know, Let me just say, rolling? I'm glad you brought that up because there was a period, and I want to give some shouts out and love to those that, that still by me when my mixing wasn't quite the best and my mind wasn't quite there. Played a party one time and um, I knew then I need to take a break. My mom passed in 2012. So about 2012 to about 2015, almost into 16, I kind of was walking on a floated ground. Okay. I yeah. really didn't, I mean, if you've ever lost your mom, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, but I know a parent, period. Oh, I know exactly. But moms yeah. are a little different. And so mm -hmm. I, it took me about three or four years to mm -hmm. really put my feet back on the ground. 2016, I think I reclaimed Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Not DJ Scent. I wasn't about the music. I had to get back in touch with me, the person, yeah. Cynthia. And when I did that, man, this, this musical thing has just been blowing up ever since. And that's since. normally how it works. It's mm -hmm. like you got to go through the calm before the storm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, you right when things look the worst in that mm -hmm. darkest hour. If you can get through that, that's the testament of you being a professional at your craft. Because well, there are going to be those times. And then I yeah. also realized, too, if your journey is bigger than what you could even anticipate. I played some amazing festivals and events. Mm -hmm. All the hardship you have to go through has to prepare you for those things. Mm. We we don't look at them and say, dang, why am I going through all this? You don't know what your greatness really is going to be. So he has to prepare you to be able to go through the warrior. Because mm -hmm. this is a, everything you do that's going to be, in your case, successful, mm -hmm. it's going to be some shady, shitty shit happening. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. say it again. Yeah. Shady shit happening. Yeah. Music industry. But guess what? If you want to leave something here, a legacy here, mm -hmm. you got to fight through that. Yeah. What I always, one thing I loved about when Winnie Houston passed, the first thing she said, what are you going to leave here that people are going to remember you by? Yep. And yeah. so for me, I want to leave a musical library. A I do YouTube. I do videos. I come talk. Do historical things. You want to leave. Because when I die, everything I know, everything we all know, yeah. goes with us. Mm -hmm. And so if we haven't put it out there for the public to actually see, this is going to be archived for the next, your kids are going to see it. Her oh, yeah. kids are going to see it. You know, YouTube is going to be around when we die. 
Yeah. So this is why we it's important to come to talk about the history mm-hmm. and really talk about the great things that's out here. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, speak about learning about the history. You can come see Cynthia's plaque over at our Detroit <laughs> Historical Museum. It's yeah. there. So oh, yeah. blown away she from that. She has a plaque. Oh yeah, she has a plaque. you know what I'm saying? It was uh it showed you uh, one of her breakout uh, events, uh, Hot to Death, you know, at yeah. he- at, yeah. at, at the Heaven. At That's Heaven, my right? guys from uh Hot to Death is Joan and Ash. Big shout out to you guys. They did a party doing a tribute with the Detroit Sound Conservancy. Uh, the 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 actual exhibition he's talking about is called Salvaging Sound. Oh, yeah. It's through the Detroit Sound Conservancy. Big up to my man Carlton, rest in peace, Lavelle. They were able to get the historical museum to actually take some of the histor- historical things we're putting out here. The sound system from Heavens is in there. We did a tribute party to Ken, and I was thank God one of the featured DJs that played a set of Ken Collier's music. And that's where you get the flower, the flyer and the plaque that's over there now. So make sure you guys check that out. That's free to the public. Go see it. It's going to be hot. Oh, yeah, man. She's right over there. Immortalized with some of the legends. Man. You know what I'm saying? Kid Rock, DJ Assault. You know, they, she's in there with those guys. So That's heavy. Most definitely. You know, when you see stuff like that, all it can do is just make you be like, wow, what have I done to be Anything is possible. It is. It really I, does. I go to work with you every day. That's the, cra- <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the crazy part, man. It's like, man, you go to work with her every day. She's such a down-to-earth, regular person. But, man, you know, extraordinary things come from ordinary people. That's they the do. Thing. Yeah, I, agree. Thing, so. I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah, greatness can be found under a rock. I'm actually the type of person who's going to actually go and pull the rock yeah. over to see what's there. Because I want to expose the greatness of people. And mm-hmm. it really is, you know, this world is so cold. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you don't have a lot of people who want to encourage you to do good things. Yeah, and cool. so me, considering myself being sort of the elder, I thought I'm looking at <laughs> but under, yes, I know, Justin. That could be your mother, but don't worry about it. So, you know, the, but but yeah. the thing is, you're not supposed Roll to it, always Justin. act Roll your it. age. But but you're supposed to share the knowledge that you've learned over the yeah. decades. I've been DJing. It'll be 30 years, 2021. Oh wow! 2021 oh, to be 30 years behind the turntable. Wow! And Dude. so that's a journey. That didn't just happen overnight. That uh-huh. that was years and years of work, yeah. work, work. And I mm-hmm. still work. I'm still working. I'm still practicing, so to speak. I'll never you know? stop working. Man. Always mm-hmm. stay busy. Yeah, mm-hmm. Always. Mm-hmm. Staying up on the trends, staying up on new things. Do you still find time to innovate and find new ways of doing? Have to. What, you, know? yeah. you have to in order to stay relevant. I mean, we've got a mm-hmm. lot of new go faces. Mm-hmm. A lot of new, a lot of very young cats out here DJing now. Big yeah. up to my young people coming out, doing their mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Mad shout to that because that's going to be the next generation that's going to take over when I sit my headphones down. Mm-hmm. So we, I mean, real talk. <laughs> You know, I was the next generation after the, the mm. Stacey Hills, mm-hmm. the Ken mm. Colliers, the Melvin yeah. Hills, mm. the Charles Hickses. They're still out here doing their thing. Some mm-hmm. of them have passed. Yeah. You know, so I'm the next person that some of the other DJs watched and wanted to become a DJ because of me. Mm-hmm. So we are opening the doors for the next generation, and I hope people are going to take that when they're doing things out here that someone's watching you. Mm-hmm. Some little kid is over in the corner who mm-hmm. ain't supposed to be in the bar yet. Right, right. <laughs> he illegal, yeah. but his mama owned it, so he over in the corner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But he's watching you, and he's learning from you, and he says, I want to be like that. Right. So that's what we're here to do, teach and educate each other mm-hmm. and to motivate. Right. Right. I got so a question, true. a very specific question. Uh-oh. Go ahead, Amber. So I know you work with turntables. I do. How do you feel when you go to some of these clubs or some of these little festivals and you see DJs working from a laptop as opposed to actual turntables. Oh, do, you, yeah. do you feel like it takes away from the authenticity of working from actual turntable when you see somebody pulling up their MacBook computer <laughs> and scrolling through their playlist and playing a song? Yeah. Like, what's your opinion about that Well, I'm going to be real, real with that. Mm-hmm. I don't care how you make that crowd dance. Right. I don't care if you got some spoons and a bungo box back there. And <laughs> I you dance that. It. I <laughs> dance that. I don't really care. Right. My <laughs> thing with the laptop thing is I think what we are as DJs are forgetting, we still need to connect with our crowd. Yeah, right, when right. you got that big laptop either to your side or in front of you, I got to look around the laptop to see you. Okay. A lot of DJs that do laptop never come out of their laptop to engage with their customers lot. and their people. Yeah. And it takes That's away. the only thing I have a knock of. I don't care how you make your music. I, I, <laughs> you got a tube in the back of you blowing. Right. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, if you're right. dancing and you're making people, hey, toot, toot, toot that horn, whatever right. it takes. My thing is still connect with your people. Right. I watch some of these DJs and they'll play for three, four hours and never wave at anybody. You don't even know if they're conscious. Yeah, that's just, what I'm saying. I feel like, <laughs> right. Right. I feel like there's Looking that Looking for that disconnect. next track. You know, oh, wow. how, my thing is this. I come from cassette tapes. Mm-hmm. 
That's what I first made cassettes. Oh, yeah. The cassette mm. the day. Mama <laughs> minivan, red. And I came from actual oh, vinyl, 12 yeah. inches. <laughs> the cool thing about records, and the reason why I love being able to take records places, you can only play what you can bring. Mm, now, right. if you can take 15 crates in that store, but well, come on in, baby, just back up with you all. <laughs> right, right. Usually, you only got about 60 to 70 albums with mm-hmm. you, so that's all you really got. Yeah. You get you a laptop, you can have Infinite. thousands of songs. Infinite songs. So my yeah. thing is, it's hard enough trying to figure out what to do with the next song. Mm. I got to stroll and find. Oh, no, nah, still can't. That's too much going on. Your <laughs> That's too much going on. Sid needs to be in it. So mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm at Flash. Hey, Flash Drives now. Mm. Flash drives, flash drives. Get your flash drive. <laughs> <laughs> DJ oh, yeah. com. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so. That blue look, one is sexy. The flash drives. Yeah, blue is sexy. Something blue is sexy. So we got blue. red, blue, black, and purple. Yeah, all, purple. They're available. All the blue. Of course, that, of course you, the purple, purple is the Prince dedication. Yeah. You already purple. know it, don't you? And I have oh, one. Prince, the Prince and tribute on the purple. Good. This is all all my point. purple life. This of is all my purple So look, we we moved from actual 12 inch vinyl to CDs. CDs were hectic. You got a mm-hmm. CD bag, you're carrying all these CDs, mm-hmm. boxes. and, and you, So now we go to the easier thing. People say laptop, ah. then you go to flash drive. Ah. Still, much easier to carry a little bitty cute little flash drive than dragging that probably 100 pound record case. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't miss about vinyl. Mm-hmm. For my mm-hmm. vinyl hands to still carrying the record, Please send me some. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And take a look at these. Actually, it's like uh, so. How many gigs do these little do these little things? They vary. Have on them, actually? They it's vary. Like, uh, they wow. go from uh, yeah. five hundred twelve megabytes up to eight megabytes. Uh, oh, wow, that is gigabytes. Yeah, gigs, gigs, yeah, gigs. Yeah, I was like, right? Yeah, of course. Man. I was like, so you're a biz, so you're a businesswoman, hustler, and a DJ, oh, all always. in the same, oh, all <laughs> in the same thing. I tell anybody, you know, okay. if you're doing t-shirts, hats, whatever. This is the land of opportunity. Make this money. Because it's out here. People it love to support what you're doing. <laughs> you just have to make people aware mm-hmm. of what you have. These guys got some great t-shirts. Can we Let's do a quick t-shirt. Yeah. Look at this. Cool nerds. Yeah. These Flash shirts are available. Nerds. Good night. These guys, right. check out Flash the those mail boots. Those are great. Oh. You shake them yeah. <laughs> so, so Cool <laughs> Nerds United <laughs> has t-shirts that's going to be available. Amber. Hey. <laughs> That was a promo, but uh, we got they got T-shirts. So it's all about support, right here, Shire Bar, Detroit. It's all about the passion. I'm I'm supporting my people. That's what I'm talking about. This look at this Indeed. shirt. Yeah. Showing them gang signs. We need gang signs. <laughs> yeah. Cool Nerds United. So you guys watch out for the information. There you go. There it is. We're gonna include the information after the show. You guys can order T-shirts. My girl Amber's got some fantastic art. My yes. man Roderick's got some fantastic art. Mm. Philip, musicians. Yeah. When I say I'm a surrounded by greatness, this who the hell am I? In this room. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Can you yeah. feel this artistic energy in this room? It's, it's like serious. electrifying. I'm going to really share is. a quick story with you. Uh, even before I started the podcast, uh, it was a vision, it was a dream of mine. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember uh, sharing this. Uh, vision and dream of mine with my friend Cynthia here and she has been very instrumental in encouraging all of us here and uh, she is such a beautiful woman inwardly and outwardly Uh, of course my friend Amber joined in but it's been some times when I felt a little depressed or you know downtrodden about whether or not to pursue the goal of being a podcast owner and uh, I must say, Cynthia has been very instrumental. I will never, ever forget what Cynthia has done for me. She's done so much for me, not only as a friend, but as a man. You know, uh, men, we get so caught up in our own egos. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's what messes us up as a whole. We get so caught up that we can do it all by ourselves. But I must say that uh, if it wasn't for her, if it wasn't for Amber... If it wasn't for Justin, Phil, and my good friend Gavin Sound, I would not be yeah. here. Mm-hmm. And my girlfriend Amy, I love you, Amy. Hey. Aww. And Justin. Oh yeah. Justin, my friend, Hope you have you always been there for me. And I don't, I don't mean to get sappy. Justin, hi, hi Austin, I love you too. <laughs> I feel like we should have some music playing. In and uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being honest. It's, it's not about me, but, but a lot of people don't know 
how great of a person Cynthia really is. Oh, thank you for that. And, uh, you know, for a person to make it, you have to have some people with you to push you along, to be by your side. You need people to give you that. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for joining us uh, for Cool Nerds Unite. For sure. Okay. Anytime. Yeah. I ain't like Thank to you. play a game really quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> I want to play a game. Game time. We're doing jigsaw right now. <laughs> I want to play sure. a game. I call this rapid fire questions. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Rapid fire. So whatever I give you, you just got to answer it quick oh. as you can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> whatever it is, doesn't matter. So let's just, if you ain't pg and. Let's get the kids oh, out. Let's, let's, oh, let's, man. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's make a prayer. Okay. Ready, and here we go. Beach or forest? Beach. Beach. Ice cube or iced tea? Iced tea. Over or under toilet paper? Over. Long hair or short? Long. A celebrity you would like to meet? Prince. Most embarrassing moment? <laughs> Which one? Oh, one I, I let you know about. Uh, like. Probably one of the bigger moments is as uh, uh, just one of my uh, DJ buddies I always admire walked into the space I was playing and I took the needle off the record. <laughs> but I put it back. <laughs> but I put it back. I put it back. I was like, but you put it back. I was like, oh my god, this. I was like, wait a minute, that's dead air. Okay, put that back. <laughs> hey. yeah. So yeah, that was probably one of the most embarrassing moments. Okay, favorite word. Motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> it's a good word. It's strong. It's passionate. Thank it you. It shows anger. It shows passion. Wow. Ask my kids when I used to be over at Murray Wright High School. Big shout out to my pilots. I'd be like, if you don't sit your motherfucking ass down. <laughs> so when they graduated from high school, they would come back and say, Miss Travis, scratch that. <laughs> they'd be like, you know, when you would say those things to me, I was like, what would I say? It's like, you called us, you know, you were the only person oh, that had that passion when you called us motherfuckers. I was like, really? Uh, That's like, we could feel the love. The love? When I said, sit your motherfucking ass down, <laughs> that was like, it was nobody in the, in the building that could say that, and we wouldn't want to take it to the principal's <laughs> office. We knew that Miss Travis loved us when she but said it. Was with we love. Knew but it was saying with love. So if I ever call you a motherfucker, you know, that it's you real. made, we, we didn't connect it. You never we called me here. one. I'm so special. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. be a hard pass for me. <laughs> okay, a couple more questions. Okay. New, New York or California? New York. Cali. Boy shorts or thongs? Songs. I don't know for boy shorts, but okay. That's my yeah, Let me just say this. Okay, yeah. let's that. <laughs> it depends on the mood because the boy, the, the boy shorts is usually just kind of chilling when I'm trying to look sexy. Ooh. Show my other Ooh. side because there is another the side. Hold on, shake it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, last question. I'm sure you might all be familiar where I'm going with this. If heaven exists, uh oh, what would you like to hear God say to you at the pearly gates? Girl, you made it. Right. <laughs> you know what? By the Thank skin you. of your teeth, you, get on in here. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank By you. the skin of your teeth, <laughs> get on in here. You and me both. I was like, just yeah, say I got yeah. in. Like this, this, this is what he might be saying. Uh, are you here? Yeah, hold on. Sit over there, man. See when, they, <laughs> see when you ever get to the pearly gates, and they tell you to go sit in the waiting room. Mm. You know he's just trying to analyze for sure if you had done some wow. of the right things. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm kind of in the waiting room. I'm kind of in the waiting room, hoping that I can be blessed to get in there. Taking number yeah, three million. You know what's funny? God got a sense of humor, so he probably just got you sitting in there just because he like. I know she's gonna get in, but I'm just want to see what she's gonna do. I right? <laughs> <laughs> can get crucial. <laughs> it can get crucial. Okay, oh, since yeah. we're wrapping up, um, any words of advice that you would like to give out? I like to ask this question to all of our fellow guests yeah. that come in here. What words of advice would you give to anyone? inspiring in your field or any artistic field in general like what words of advice would you give them? just right. keep going yeah. don't let anyone deter you from what you wake up and feel a lot of times mm -hmm. we start listening to other people we mm -hmm. start seeing someone else's success and we think we should either be at that same plateau everything is a journey mm -hmm. everything takes time be patient but be good at what you do and no one can take anything from you. If you're good at what you do, and I mean, if that takes practice, if you're a singer, drawer, if God has given you a, a, an immense talent, go for it. Let me just leave you with this. Whatever you get up and it makes you feel good about, find a way to make some money off of it and do it. You know, because we have to work normal jobs yeah. that we usually don't to get care for. Mm -hmm. You punch a clock. <laughs> you got to make things happen on the outside of that Basically that's going to keep time. your life and keep Amen. you balanced. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If I, I, I didn't, I'm gonna that, tell you, 100%. if I didn't have music, I would not 
be sitting here today. Right. When the song says that DJ saved my life, Mr. Ken Carter saved mine. I was thinking about that song the other mm-hmm. day. I have been in I have been in clubs mm-hmm. as just a clubber, not a DJ, full out tears because mm-hmm. of the things that I've dealt with in my life. I have actually played parties when some things have happened, and I was up there DJing, tears just rolling down my face. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. you just gotta weather those storms yeah. because there's some good things coming afterwards. Exactly. And being here today, I'm so blessed, so blessed. So many we have lost. So to be here with these guys, my newfound family, Phil, David, come on in here, show yourselves, okay, show yourselves, hey, guys. Right. I appreciate you guys for having me here, the love you guys have shown me, the things oh, yeah. I've learned from all you guys. Oh, yeah, you we know? learned it from you. I mean, Man, I learned from you guys too. You I'm glad you're learning something because I feel like I have brain parts all the time. Found the knowledge over here, <laughs> yep. I'm telling you. And it's not just the boring knowledge. You got good fun knowledge. You, you know, yeah. Honestly, you, you, you give it to you, give it to us in a way Don't that we can drive. really, you know, we can digest that. <laughs> well, one thing about it, everybody else is going to sugarcoat to you. I'm going to yeah. keep it real 100. Right. You might not like me for being so bold and straightforward, mm-hmm. but as you get older, you realize, that was the real deal. She going to tell you that. just what it is. Yeah, that's I'm not going to sugarcoat you. You say something, you come to me, like mm-hmm. my daddy say, don't ask if you don't want the real truth. There you go. <laughs> hey, man, you ain't get where you are without being who you are, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so do whatever it is that you do and keep doing it well. Appreciate so that's, that. That's how we do it. Before you go, can you uh, share with the listening audience, viewing audience as well, um, your itinerary for the rest of the month? Yes, yes. After mm-hmm. today... We do a madhouse. We're going to be doing midday cuisine tomorrow. That's from noon to two. I do that on Facebook Live. Join me at Friends this Thursday. That's going to be from 8 to 12. Me and my man, Daniel Mitchell from GLB, going to come in with the FM 98 squad, okay, okay. dropping some heat. Also, uh, next Tuesday, I'll be at Vinyl Nights, which is going to be at Queens Bar with my girl Zaina in Spectacle, Detroit. Okay. I've got, uh, <laughs> um, Goodness. man, okay, 313 uh, FM. Let me get it right. 313.fm with my man Brent at Urban Beans and Coffee. That's coming up March 20th. Hey. Also, the, only, the bigger party, uh, which is going to be back, uh, Backstage House Sessions. Okay. That's going to be uh, March 16th. Me, Powder Blue, Mike Melody. That's from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Guys, come out for that. That's going to be... You ain't even ready. That's Dance Floor <laughs> Happy. So big shouts out to everybody who's tuning in right now, hanging out with us, supporting this. Make sure you guys watch out for the podcast. It's going to be coming soon on SoundCloud, Facebook, iTunes, Hi, iTunes yeah. everywhere. Spotify. So what's your guys? What's your guys' connection to who? How they can get to you? Are you? Uh... Okay, I believe I can answer this question. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> okay, okay. So be sure to follow Cool Nerd Unite on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Email us for upcoming shows. Email us about the things you want to see in the show. All that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. We want to hear from you. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. We don't want you to not like us, but we hope that you do like us. Love us. Yes, love us. Appreciate so, let us. Let me ask you, are you guys, is it Cool Nerds with an S? Cool Nerds with an S. Yes. And then Unite? Cool Nerds Unite. Yes. Cool. <laughs> See, you <laughs> got the Chris in there. United. Yeah. What was that? United. Yeah. Cool <laughs> Nerds <laughs> Unite. Spooky boo here. You guys can check. They got a page on, a group page on Facebook. <laughs> yep. That will give you guys the links to everything else that's going to be. I'm going to okay. actually include my link to where you guys can get my music. Flash yes. drives are available. Yes. Hit me up. I've got CDs as well. Mixes all over the place. DJSet.com. All right. Yes. yes. Like go. us. Follow us. Subscribe to us. Review us. Tell us what you think. We really, really want to hear from you. We might even give you a shout out on the air. You never know. We will embarrass you. I love it. I will. Baby. So. <laughs> right, Some of the things we had to x-ray out before I got on air. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bleep it a bleep bleep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. We just want to thank you for coming. You for know, sure. Say, I like thank to say, you, so much, you know, you are an amazing person, man. Got thank you. Great, I appreciate great, that. Great interview. Appreciate you coming. I paid them all to say these things. Don't worry. I got the we cash were, to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were paid in cents. Thank you. you know. Hey, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> she paid you in cents. Speak for yourself. So yeah. we're going to come off of here, and then we're going to continue to talk over there. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon. And remember, stay, stay dirty. dirty. Stay dirty. dirty.